Okay, Paul here, Inventor 3, uh, doing some more experiments. There's our tall pole, all eight guide wires on there now. Anyhow, we're coming down to our circuit. Again, I'll try to show a close-up of the circuit. It's all stretched way out of shape. But that's it. Let's see. Oh, it's not clear now. But there's the diodes. You can see everything. One circuit. Okay, there's my antenna. Again, this yellow one is just kind of holding things taunt. But my antenna is coming down here to the green one to the two coils. Well, actually, it goes to the bottom coil. Let's see, there's the end of the green wire. Comes down to the, well, top of one coil, then the bottom of the other coil comes out to the red one, which connects both of them. Red one going into the bottom of that one and the top of the coil coming out so both coils are in series and it goes up and then to the circuit so the two coils are in between our circuit um, today I want to show you that I'm over here in the yard uh, all the time before I was way over in that corner which if you could see power lines run under the easement here not overhead so we're not sucking anything from the antenna or I mean we're sucking from the antenna but uh, not from power lines okay before our ground with an antenna was set up over there so I moved all the way over here to the other side front corner of the yard way away from the easement so you can see now our readings right now with two coils. Oops, 66 volts. It uh, was a lot higher than that. <coughs> Today the ground is a lot harder. Uh, I'm having difficulty getting my ground rod without actually digging a hole. But the, the ground rod when I was back in that corner was about another 12 inches deeper. So. I'm only like six or eight inches into the ground right now, so that's why I'm getting a lower reading, not because I'm away from that corner. Okay, I want to show you something now. I'm going to stick a second ground rod through. Well, let me show you this too. Odd thing here. If I touch these coils in the middle with my hand, not touching any metal, just the plastic. See, voltage starts rising. I'm not touching the coils at all. Just touching in between them on the plastic. Now, if I actually touch the coil itself, of course, uh, it's dropping down fast. Again, if I just touch it in the middle, you can see it's slowly rising. And I did a lot of experiments with some magnets today. A string of round ones, hooking it all around coils, bottom of coil, top of coil, round antenna, some long rectangular ones some nice uh, three-quarter inch and half inch diameter neodymium and a ring neodymium experimenting with those no good results yet I really need a round long rod type magnet with one end being negative and one end being positive that I have to do some experiments with rather than these long rectangular which ones that 
have half of the width being north and half of the width being positive rather than one end being positive and one end being negative. Okay, so let me show you real quick the difference I get. I'm going to put this other rod in the ground. So hang on with me one second here while we do this. Grounds really hard today. Mm. Okay, we need to attach a couple little jumper clips here too to make sure both rods are connected to one another. There we go. Let me show you what I just did there. Okay, now I have two. Oh boy, pitcher. Okay, there we go. Two rods coming up. I just put uh, black and white wire there, little jumpers connecting the two rods together. And they're also touching, crisscrossing probably somewhere in there. But uh, as you can see, voltage instantly rising. So, See, I did this earlier today. Let me get the glare out of there. Where the heck? There we go. We're up to 90. Uh, I had it up to 112 today, which you would see eventually if we keep watching this. So, this is good news that we've tried it in another area of the yard away from the easement so we know that we're not sucking the power from the ground that we are indeed oops there goes my dmm and it's been on it for a while I probably went into power saving mode there or the battery's just dying out let's see if i get it back on there oops it's not going back on okay there we go where are we at here okay we're at 99 now oh dang glare there you are, 100. Like I said, I don't know how long you want to sit here and see this, but it'll actually go up to around 112 I had it today. So that's good news. Uh, keeping on with the experiments. I got a lot of ideas yet. I'm going to try a much larger coil, which I've tried once before. I didn't have any good luck with it actually it uh, made the voltage go way down but I'm gonna repeat the experiment again I'm gonna get this ground definitely got to get this ground a lot deeper and get more metal in between uh, in the middle of those coils An experiment with more coils longer shorter uh, so till we see each other again Stay tuned, same bat channel, same bat time.